thanks for clicking today's thumbnail uh, this is not any clickbait or a PR stunt of, and that kind of thing but um, and I am pretty much not really sure about uh, should I really share my personal view about it or not uh, but it really happened to me that uh, it's been right now a uh, half a year that I have dropped out of college and one thing that I primarily uh, one challenge that I primarily face is when uh, people really ask me about what are you doing is just the that particular moment I have to really lie to everyone else that yeah I'm still doing college right now and and I kind of really felt a little bit sad for being uh, dishonest on myself and not explaining the correct scenario and because uh, I really it really needs me around 15 to 20 minutes of explaining what I have done and what it is haven't and I still find it difficult even today to explain uh, why I have dropped out of the college and when I really honestly express myself that uh, that I have dropped out of the college and people are like what the hell are you saying so I really thought of why wouldn't I really made make a one video on it uh, about why I have dropped off the college and since I really mentioned in previous video that I have really actually dropped off the college so in this video I really want to share my opinion or share my views about why I have dropped out of the college so that next time uh, even someone won't ask me or if someone did ask me about why I have dropped out of college I wouldn't really uh, waste my time or waste my valuable time to uh, put my efforts and energy to demonstrate him I'll just uh, share this video to him and uh, if he has any doubt then he can really contact me once so let's get started so in my journey of becoming a web developer as shown in this video up here I actually uh, demonstrated about how I started to learn and what was the journey through it I actually started my engineering from uh, August 2019 uh, August 2018 and then dropped out of college of uh, April 2019 and I really want to give a kind of a brief scenario about what happened in that uh, time frame that really compelled me to do so so as I really previously stated in my video so if you haven't really watched what I'm uh, giving reference to right now just go on click that i button and you can really watch that watch that video first and then come right back to here so I previously mentioned about how my journey was to becoming a web developer and why I've started my YouTube channel and in this video I really want to clarify about why I have dropped out of college though I'm not sure about whether I should do it or not but let it be just do it I mean yeah so I really took admission into my engineering college um, in August 2018 hoping that uh, I would really become a better software developer or better uh, in ability to develop my own uh, web web apps and mobile apps uh, I was really enthusiastic about learning the web technologies and all the all various aspect of thing but, w but one thing I was not aware of that the Indian college culture about and I was really aware that everyone was really mock, mocking out there was so uh, negative words about in other environments and all that stuff but I was not aware of the uh, general structure in it about what was the syllabus uh, what was the kind of thing that I am really gonna experience and and pretty much everything so I really just went through it my first month was decent since uh, when you really go to the new college you just try to figure out um, and try to adapt in the new environment so my situation was really the same and the next month I really started to inquire about what was the syllabus right and I was really going through the first year second year third year and fourth year syllabus um, of the CAC department 
because I was in the computer as obviously uh, and I and I didn't really seen anything which was really suitable for my needs uh, of becoming of a better developer and coming up with my own products and really uh, marketing them uh, so I really uh, just to really validate my affirmations or just to validate my thought process I really went on to the uh, my seniors and just asked them that uh, hey I have uh, I have this doubt is it true that uh, you, uh, that the college doesn't teach you the latest stack and latest technology they said no we don't know even what the hell are you talking of um, and, uh, and the professors aren't really teaching all that kind of stuff so whenever the syllabus was so old so ridiculous it was the the old traditional c++ like it's like sada bahar ke liye wahi seekhenge hum yeah and the uh, java and <laughs> and all that stuff but the syllabus was pretty old you weren't you weren't really tell about how can you use the language how to really uh, make a cool of bunch of products and just come up with a new idea uh, instead you were just really uh, you were really taught to really mug up the languages and in the first year uh, i was not having a good experience with my teacher as uh, as I really used to uh, have a counter uh, questioning with them about their uh, pract- about their practicality, about and my relation with my uh, teachers were also really not good because I really used to question them a lot about the practices that they were doing in the colleges regarding uh, about the practicality that they were preaching about how practical is this that are you talking of like why are you teaching this uh, if that is not really useful in our career and they were kind of not able to answer me and moreover uh, they used to take me uh, in a they used to really perceive me in a wrong way uh, i'm not trying to um, victimize myself in a really absurd manner or something else it's just what i really thought and moreover the most important thing that anyone does go to college is for the college culture honestly in my whatever i have seen no one around me about no one around me was really excited enough to really uh, learn new things and to come up with a idea uh, and work over it i really approached many of the students like i just want to make this uh, are you excited are you excited uh, will you learn with me uh, and no and they were obviously not interested moreover they were not having any sort of purpose or the goal that what they want to do in after graduation uh, i'm not saying that uh, i'm really hyper focused or uh, uh, i know everything and i'm really going to the laser sharp uh, strategies and all that all that thing but i really wanted to uh, work in a challenging environment but uh, as usually uh, I did really failed in JE mains, so I really ended up being getting a tier three college, and that was not good for me. And and in later, uh, quite a couple of months after, I really uh, got a full understanding of what I actually needed to learn in order to get my uh, project done. I mean, what I need to learn. So I really started to doing on my own. And the as day after day proceed, I really started my to hate my colleges more because the teacher were not really answering my uh, doubts. The system was old. No one would. Uh, no teacher really liked uh, that I really r- rose the question uh, to themselves regarding the uh, practices that they were doing in the colleges. Uh, practices in the sense, uh, practices in the sense like. Uh, like not changing the curriculum, really stating out of date, uh, uh, incompetency of the faculty members, like they were not having enough knowledge about all the latest trends and technology. They were not able to answer my own question. And moreover, I really, uh, uh, and, and I was having a lot of arguments with my uh, faculties 
as really previously mentioned so and as the time proceed i really decided that uh, i will make my own projects but i was not having the point or the thought that i would really drop off out of the college the tipping point was actually that moment when the college really jump bunch of uh, useless assignment i really saw everyone was doing everyone was just filling out the paper copy pasting copy pasting really filling up the bunch of useless piles of paper writing piles of paper and my mind was like what the hell is this going on here uh, is it something that i really want to fill just the papers and and nothing to do with my life i mean if writing the piles of papers will really benefit my life then sure i will really do it but this wasn't any case at all moreover the interview doesn't give any f whether you write the piles of paper or whether you score uh, 80% 90% he just cares about whether you can really do what we require or not so i came up with a complaint uh, to my faculty members that the at the assignment and the teaching practices and everything the, the doubt that i have i just said bluntly to them and just said that the what are you doing is completely shady and you shouldn't really do it and instead of really accepting it which no one does honestly they really started to uh, backfiring me about how dare you to answer how dare you to say that how dare you to do it and the day after that my relation with my faculty member got worse every day after there after day after and and they did also call my parents because it's an indian education system everyone knows what happens uh so i really did then decide that uh if college is not going to teach what i really want if the my friend circle is not that uh curious enough to go ahead and pursue what they want uh i'm not getting what i really wanted and and college is not really teaching me to really market uh, to really gain a marketable skill to really uh, learn a thing make a product from it and how to market and do a business business regarding it so why the hell would i do it like so i just uh, went ahead and take a decision that i would really drop out so was that easy uh, definitely not like uh, for the first four months like my parents were like what the heck are you doing uh you shouldn't really do it and the there were really bunch of uh, indian drama you can really pretty much visualize in your head what is going on uh but later words i did really convinced after 3 4 months that yeah i will do it and and they did give me a time frame about and then did they did really said me yeah uh this is the time frame you have to prove it yourself and if you don't you have to look for your own basic needs we we'll, we won't support you uh, and that was a really hard and challenging statement for me uh, but how do i express i really don't understand this one part uh, yeah but yeah, we, but i really accepted this and really started to work on my own project and i'm still really working on right now the reason i really started the youtube is just i pretty feel alone i really feel lonely at sitting at this chair right now and just uh putting my head into the laptop screen and just working continuously uh i have no one to really share my thoughts and and i can really release my pressure and to gain more knowledge uh I, and i really found youtube to be more productive as well so that's why i'm doing and and considering the drop out uh some people really did ask me about what about job but and what about your career if what if what happened if you not uh, really do it uh first of all i don't want to do job any anymore uh so i really decided to go on my own and basically the piece of paper hashtag the certificate or the degree what is not going to help me even 1% then uh if that is not going to help me even 1% uh in easing my business or easing my startup which i'm going to do in future 
so why should i really waste my time in four years of engineering computer computer uh, degree whether uh, on whether the other side i can really do on my own and moreover uh, the college faculty also did tell me that apart from the college studies you have to do it what you really want on your own side by side so i mean i was just like blown up like if i really want to do on my own and your college curriculum is not going to help me any way why should i do it it's just like so i really ditched that out completely and i'm really right now focused on my work uh and i'm really coming up with a face mash and bunch of cool projects in the future in the next year uh will i succeed that's a tricky question it's it's all about the matter of time knowledge perseverance and execution in the right direction uh and i'm really right now heavily focused to learn as much as thing as i can right now to really move my uh next step in a right way and to really ensure that uh that i won't get lost in any way the best part of being a dropout is you have a freedom you can do anything about what you want and the negative part of being a dropout and working at home is is you are free and you can do whatever you want so you can treat both of the side as plus or minus and it's so and it's even really hard today for me to get productive and to do my work efficiently like sometimes uh i really plan to do in something in a particular amount of time uh it takes sometimes less or it's some it takes sometimes more uh but it's a particular relative time frame and i'm really uh, working on it to really reduce that time frame and to really uh, put out my execution in a given period of time so that i can really focus on the next thing and i'm also really excited about the another patents that i will be doing in future uh so this was the only thing that i really wanted to say uh, uh i really thanks that you stayed till here see you in the next video with the next face mask tutorial uh make sure to share this video on every other platform until then stay connected have a nice day